Hi friends, I'm Jayeen. For those who are new, welcome to my channel. I post on YouTube occasionally. To be quite honest, the last time I posted was 10 months ago. If that's any indication of how often I post, there you have it. <laughs> Today, I thought I'd do a first impressions video on a new hair care range that I tried out. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts and my experience using the products, please keep on watching. <laughs> are the products that I received. This is the Umberto Giannini Grow Long range. I hope I'm pronouncing this brand correctly. If I'm not, I sincerely apologize. Yeah, so what I received was the shampoo, the conditioner. I also received the hair mask, the hair or scalp scruff as well as the grow tonic i'm just going to go through the information on the shampoo to give you a bit of an idea of what this range promises so this range is vegan and it is cruelty free so to give you guys a bit of a background story with regards to my hair I am on a natural hair journey, I am transitioning to natural and I have been since June or July of 2020. I am slow transitioning which means no big chop. I do gradual trims maybe every two months. Um, when I see my hair needs a trim, I trim it and I recently trimmed my hair. I will insert the video here. And you can check it out on my Instagram as well. So yeah, I'm in the process of transitioning. So therefore, I love using hair growth products because it helps with the transitioning process. It speeds it up a little bit. And yeah, I want to I want to fully transition. I'm, I'm kind of over it right now. Um, and to the point where I am contemplating doing a big chop and cutting off all the straight ends um, up until we my hair has transitioned. Um, I think roughly my hair has transitioned to like collarbone length, um, like between collarbone and armpit length my hair has transitioned, which is not a bad length I think. So I might, I might just cut it, <laughs> who knows, but I'm, I am thinking of doing like mini chops here and there because the last time I cut my hair well, recently I cut off about 8 centimeters, which is quite a chunk, but you wouldn't say, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell that I cut that much off. So, it's not that difficult and I really, I, I cut my hair so easily. I always say, like, I cut my hair as easily as I cut people off, which is, it's not really, it's not always a good thing, but I'm good at it, so <laughs> it is what it is. So, let me go into my experience using this range this is why you are here i assume as much so with the shampoo um i because i'm transitioning i try to stick to sulfate free shampoos well sulfate free products in general um to avoid drying and stripping of my hair so i was a bit reluctant to use the shampoo um, but for the sake of experiencing the whole range and giving an honest review and impression um, of the product, I thought, okay, I'm just going to use the shampoo and see how it goes. And to my surprise, this shampoo is not stripping at all. It actually left my hair feeling soft and moisturized. I don't know like what magic this is, but it's amazing. It lathers quite a bit. I will insert some clips here. I filmed a little bit of a hair wash video. It lathered very much. Um, seeing that it is, seeing that it does contain sulfates, you would expect as much with sulfate-free shampoos. They don't really lather that much. Um, but I don't mind. I don't mind the bubbles. I don't mind the soapiness. Um, it smells. Oof. Let me get into the scent of this range, guys. <laughs> I love things 
that smell edible. That's like one fun fact about Jadine. She loves edible smelling products. <laughs> um, this similar does contain caffeine. It smells like a mochaccino. It smells like a cross between coffee and chocolate. It's, it's so amazing. Like all the products, the scent is consistent throughout all the products from the moss to the scrub to the tonic and everything. So it's quite a pleasure to use this and have your shower filled up with this aroma. <laughs> it's very really nice. Um, can't complain at all. The conditioner, let's see what it says. Uh, the only thing that's different between the conditioner and the shampoo is that the conditioner contains vitamin B, almond and castor oils. So it says that it intensely hydrates hair and scalp, which is good. I am a conditioner or oh, I love conditioner and I use a lot of it so this is actually almost half way through and I'm probably gonna have to restock soon the conditioner has a lot of slip that's one thing that I love about conditioners that's one property which all my conditioners must have it must have good slip because detangling is a priority <laughs> it makes detangling so much easier and less snagging, less pulling on the hair, less breakage and so forth. So detangling was a breeze with the shampoo, with this conditioner, sorry. And yeah, the texture, it's a quite uh, thick texture, um, not runny. I showed in the, in one of the clips uh, what the texture looks like. I don't know if I'm going to put it in, but anyway, um, very thick conditioner. I think that's why I ended up using so much um because it's quite thick but i don't mind purchasing it again it made my hair feel very nice very soft so the mask it's actually oh my gosh it's like a pinky color quite quite interesting um it smells it smells amazing oh my gosh <laughs> anyway so the mask let's see what this is so it says him coconut and shea Helps to revive a sluggish scalp and dry lifeless hair into luscious, strong locks for healthy and fuller looking hair. Caffeine and black coffee seed extract revives hair from the roots, algae, moisturizing properties, Irish moss softens for better hair quality, seaweed, fatty acids from marine nutrients, improved split ends, um, hemp seed, a natural source of vitamins, antioxidants and proteins. And coconut oil and shea butter, nourishing and moisturizing. So, yeah, a lot of good stuff in here. I don't see any bad. Well, it contains alcohol, um, but my hair didn't feel dry afterwards. It felt really soft. So, it says that you need to um, smooth it through damp hair to strengthen and repair and moisturize. Rinse when your hair feels renewed. You can actually feel this mask taking effect. Your hair feels softer, it feels lighter. Uh, my hair, I don't know why or why this happened, but my hair felt um, very like flat on my on my scalp. I have very thick hair and my hair felt, I think it, it just like, cleaned my hair, it renewed my hair, it refreshed my scalp and everything. So very, very nice. I really enjoy this product and I'll probably have to restock on this as well because I'm, I'm kind of like a quarter way in. Um, but I see myself getting like maybe five or six uses in total out of this. Um, absolutely love it. I love, love, love it. And then lastly, I didn't use the scrub yet, but I might do a separate video on it and talking about the benefits of doing scalp scrubs. And I've actually, in the past, I've made my own scalp scrubs using coconut oil, sugar and other um, beneficial ingredients and my hair felt really nice after using that very um, clarified, very clean, very light, very, I don't know, just soft. It actually made my hair feel very soft. Um, so yeah, you can actually use this scrub in the place of the shampoo so I intend to alternate between the two I usually wash my hair every week so one week I'll use the shampoo and one week, week I'll use the scrub so that's good I felt the texture of the scrub and it's actually quite soapy um, which is very interesting hello okay 
So before we do the interrupted, <laughs> just kidding, that's my fiance. <laughs> so the last product that I tried or the last product that I used in my wash day was the Grow Tonic. Now this baby, this baby, she's very interesting. Let me just take it out of the packaging so you can see what she looks like. So it's this like drop, like a dropper bottle or I don't know what you call these bottles. Anyway, so I used this um, after I did all the rinsing and the washing and everything. So I used this, you're supposed to, um, let me just read this first. Um, yeah, you're supposed to put it on your scalp, your roots basically, and focus it on your roots and then massage it in. So what I did was I parted my hair down the middle and then I uh, applied it to the middle part and then in sections down my scalp. I also focused it on my um, hairline because I have a bit of like thinning going on here. I don't know if it's like my crown where my hair um, grows from but it's like bald spots. I don't like it and yeah not it's not ideal and I also put it on the nape of my neck because I have some breakage going on there so yeah I focused on those areas and then all over my head and then I massaged it in now let me tell you this product she tingles she tingles which I am not mad about like they say that these products the caffeine it stimulates um, circulation and for hair growth. Circulation is ideal for hair growth. I googled, I went straight to Google to find out if anyone else like complained about it, just in case I don't want my hair to fall out. But I didn't find anything like surprising me. Maybe it's just it's normal. But it's not like an uncomfortable feeling, it's just very noticeable. <laughs> but it's not bad. I really enjoy it. Of course it smells amazing. It's a very liquidy product. It's like water. And a little really goes a long way. I used this, actually used this twice and there's still a, a significant amount of product left. Um, yeah, I'm really, I really hope this product work because I want my hair to grow and I want to cut my hair. I want to have my full luscious locks in full effect. So I'm hoping that these products will do the job. Everyone, please cross your fingers with me. So that was my experience with this range. All in all, I enjoyed using these products and I will definitely enjoy using it more in the future. I will, the, the fact that I am willing to purchase the products and restock them as they run out, it's a, a good indication that I really enjoy them. And yeah, I just really hope it helps to grow my hair. I think that's that's ultimately the main goal and the, the main um, objective for, for using these products. And yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you used these products or any product by Umberto Giannini and what your experience was like. I'd really like to know. I'd like to know if you used these products and if you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you didn't, also let me know so I can hear what your experience was nonetheless. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. I will probably come back um, on here with a natural hair update to, sh to show my uh, progress and where I started and what the journey has been like for this like year and a half. Um, has it been a year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half of transitioning. It's been quite a journey. Uh, so if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on my transition journey, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Hopefully, I, keep, I, I say this every year. I say this every beginning of the year that I will try to consistently post. And then Jaden just drops the ball. She drops it. She drops it and she leaves it there. No shame. Mm -mm. So I, I need to I need to hold myself accountable. I'm putting it out there that I will try. No, I'm putting it out there that I will be. I will be consistent. I will post. I will create. I will film and I will post. Because we have goals to achieve this year, people. We have goals. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let me stop rambling. Bye. <laughs>